What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record your PC gameplay using the Elgato Game Capture HD. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need uh, to be able to do this is of course your Elgato device itself, uh, your PC or laptop uh, that you're going to be recording, and then you need two uh, cables. You're going to need the USB cable uh, that came with the Elgato in the box, uh, which is a mini USB cable. So basically any standard mini USB to standard USB should work just fine. And lastly, you're going to need one standard HDMI cable. So those are the things you're going to need uh, to be able to do this. So the computer that I'm going to be using for this particular demonstration is a Toshiba Satellite uh, laptop uh, running Windows 8.1. Now this will work on other versions of Windows, uh, such as Windows 7 and Windows 10. So it shouldn't be much different for those uh, operating systems. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So if you're... Um, laptop or desktop. Forgot to mention, you can do this with either a laptop or a desktop. It doesn't matter. Uh, but if your uh, PC has a built-in HDMI port, uh, such as this one here, so if we can turn this around, you can see right here it has a built-in HDMI. Um, but if your uh, laptop or desktop does not have an HDMI port built in, uh, you will have to go out and purchase an HDMI adapter. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with the process in doing this. So first and foremost, we need to uh, get the USB cable and plug it into the USB port on the Elgato. So if we plug that in like so, there we are. And then the HDMI cable, you're going to want to get the first end of that and put it into the HDMI input. So we want to plug that in there like so. All right, so it should look something like that. You have an HDMI cable coming out one side and the USB on the other. So that's all that we need to do with the Elgato. Now, you need to uh, take the other end of the HDMI cable and plug it into your HDMI port on your PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. There we go. And then the H, or excuse me, the USB cable uh, you can then plug it in as well uh, to your PC's USB port. So go ahead and do that as well. Plug it in. There we are. So if we go up onto the screen, we can then go and open up the Elgato software. All right. So now that the Elgato software is open... Uh, there are a few settings that you're going to have to change uh, before you can uh, capture your gameplay. So what we need to do to do that is you need to go right over here um, to the little settings icon right here under the Game Capture HD uh, icon. So go ahead and click on that and it should bring up the settings panel. So within here, uh, you have a bunch of different settings to change. So... Um, under input device, you want to make sure that you select other uh, because uh, that's the only option that will work uh, when you're recording a PC or other device such as that. Uh, so you want to hit that, so click other. And then video input, since we're using HDMI, you want to make sure you hit HDMI as the input source. So go ahead and click on that and hit input or for HDMI. Uh, audio. That should be a default. You can choose whatever you'd like. So you can choose either to have the audio come from the HDMI or the analog audio, uh, which would be coming from the computer itself. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose, uh, but it's best to probably just st uh, stick with the analog audio option. Uh, and then under HDMI color range, uh, we just want to keep it standard for this particular um, setup. And then profile. Um, depending on what your uh, laptop or desktop uh, is capable of, um, you can either do uh, standard definition, 720p or 1080p. Um, for this particular setup, I'm going to be using 1080p. And you can disable or enable uh, 60 frame a second support. So right now I have that enabled. So we can now get the full 60fps uh, resolution. 
Uh, and then under quality, uh, we want to drag the quality slider to best so we can get the best possible quality out of the recording. And um, then cropping, uh, you want to select none because we don't want to have any cropping of the video. We want it to be full screen and no issues there. Uh, and then we these two options here, you want to just leave checked because those really don't aren't relevant for what we're doing. So you can just leave those alone. The picture, audio, profiles, and advanced tabs, uh, you should not have to change. Um, all of those should be done automatically uh, through the software. So with all of the settings now configured, you can go ahead and hit OK. As you can see, we now have the um, recording on screen uh, within the Elgato uh, software uh, window here. So as you can see, it's kind of mirrored, so you see, almost see like this weird-looking tunnel kind of going infinite down the <laughs> tunnel type thing. It's kind of weird looking. Uh, but the reason for that is because uh, we're recording from the same computer that is being uh, recorded, basically. <clears throat> so it's interesting, but when you record your video, you will not see uh, this weird tunnel type of thing going on. It'll just be standard. Uh, so if I go ahead and hit the record button now, it'll... You can see the little record button will turn red, letting you know, and then the time will tick away right here in the middle. And then if you're done recording, you hit the capture button again, and it will then save that particular video. <clears throat> and then you have a bunch of settings over here. Uh, so you can do game audio, live streaming, and live commentary. So you can do live commentary over top of your uh, video. But yeah, that's basically it. So now if we go into the folder here, and go to where the video is saved. Uh, okay, Elgato Game Capture Library. So the most recent one would be this one here at the very end. And as you can see, uh, there is the video clip right here. So if I click it to open it, you can see it recorded it, but it's not recording that tunnel vision. Uh, so you're only getting that tunnel vision within the Elgato window itself. But anyway, that's basically it for this video. Uh, that is how you record your PC gameplay using the Elgato Game Capture HD capture card. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thought that it was helpful. Hit a subscribe button right down below. It's greatly appreciated and helps out the channel. Uh, hit a like button as well. That also helps me out. And if you guys have any questions or comments or are stuck on something, uh, don't be afraid to drop a comment below and I'll help you guys out as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys have enjoyed once again and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.